Now at the bottom of our stylesheet.css document, let's add a few more lines. I want to add another comment here. We're going to call this one small screen. Let's copy that. Let's make a second one called medium screen. So let's start first by creating some of the medium screen CSS rules. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by typing an at symbol, media, space screen, and beginning and ending parenthesis. Inside the parentheses, we're going to type min width for minimum width colon space 501 px then outside the parentheses we're going to type and beginning and ending parentheses max width colon space 800 px then we're going to add a beginning and ending bracket so what this statement does is basically say if the screen width is from 501 pixels to 800 pixels any rules we put inside of here are going to be activated by the browser. Now you can pick any numbers you want for inside of here. I picked 500 and 800 being the tablet area. Anything under 500 I'm assuming a handheld device and anything above 800 I'm assuming is a desktop computer. Now you can have as many of these rules as you want as well. I'm picking three for this particular course but you can certainly have more or less than that. And so inside of here if we're on a tablet sized device I'm going to come in here and redefine some of these properties. So we're going to start by typing page, beginning and ending bracket, margin 0 pixels, padding 0 pixels. We're going to set the font size to 1.15 m's. So since most tablets have a high resolution display greater than 130 pixels per inch, I want to bump up the font size from the base about 15%. Next line, page, space, header, beginning and ending bracket. Here I want to change the height down to 90 pixels. I want to set the background image. We're going to set the URL dot dot slash images to banner medium dot jpeg semicolon next we're going to set the padding top 10 50 on the right 0 on the bottom 75 on the left next rule page header a dot logo let's split this open we're going to reposition the top value to 20 pixels we're going to reset the left to 25 pixels we're going to set the width to 90 pixels and we're going to set the height to 55 pixels. This is going to match the medium size logo from the slices we created inside of Photoshop. Lastly, we're going to set background, URL, dot dot slash images, slash logo, medium, dot ping, no repeat, zero pixels on the left, zero on the Y. Next, let's add a few more lines. Next rule, page, nav, beginning and ending parenthesis. We're going to set the navigation element top to 30 pixels. Next line, page, nav, space A, anchor tags, we're going to set border color to white. We're going to set margin left to 10 pixels. 
We're going to space those out a little bit since on a tablet display, people are probably using their fingers, so we want to separate them out a little bit more so it's easier for them to hit them. We're going to set padding. Top is 5. Right is 10. Bottom is 5. Left is 10. We want to set the padding a little bit lower so these are a little bit smaller since we don't have quite as much real estate at the top. We're going to set font size to 0.9M. Next rule, page dot content underscore sidebar space figure space dot figure photo. So now we're going to target that div that's inside of the figure HTML5 element inside content sidebar. beginning and ending bracket. Inside here, what we're going to do is set the background image URL dot dot slash images slash sidebar photo underscore medium dot jpg And then we're going to change the height to 150 pixels. And now the last rule we're going to set for the medium CSS rules, page, content, underscore sidebar, space, figure, space, fig caption, beginning and ending bracket, Font size, 0.8 M's. Let's choose File Save. Now let's go check our work. Let's come out to the operating system. Let's open index.html up in a browser. Let's hit reload to make sure that the CSS is being reloaded. Now when I open and close the browser, when I get under 800 pixels, we'll see the logo shift, we'll see the banner shift, we'll see the size of the links here shift, and we'll also see the picture in the sidebar change from the really close up view here to the sort of medium view inside of the uh, sidebar content figure. So now we have two devices in play. We have the default state here, which has a maximum of 980 and then centers, and then condenses down to medium size at 800, and we'll hold this all the way until 500. Notice once we get down to 500, it goes back to the default. So in the next movie, we'll set up the values for the small screen display.